Hi dear friends, welcome to our channel Pharma Digest and today we are learning about theory of IR spectroscopy. There are two conditions for infrared absorbance to occur. Condition number one, there must be a change in the dipole moment of the molecule due to molecular vibration. The change in the dipole moment allows interaction with the alternating electrical component of the IR radiation wave. Symmetric molecules do not absorb IR radiation since there is no dipole moment. Now condition number 2. If the frequency of the IR radiation matches the natural frequency of the vibration or rotation, the IR photon is absorbed and the amplitude of the vibration get increased as shown in this animation. Now we will learn about IR spectroscopic process. The quantum mechanical energy levels observed in IR spectroscopy are those of molecular vibrations. And video about molecular vibration is uploaded already in Pharma Digest channel. Second, covalent bond between two atoms is of a certain length and we are citing an average because the bond behaves as if it were a vibrating spring connecting the two atoms. For a simple diatomic molecule, it this bond will be behaves like this. When a covalent bond oscillates due to the dipole of the molecule, a varying electromagnetic field is produced. And the greater the dipole moment change through this vibration, the more intense the electromagnetic field that will be generated. When a wave of infrared light encounters this oscillating electromagnetic field generated by the oscillating dipole of the same frequency, these two waves coupled and IR light is absorbed. The coupled wave now vibrates with the twice of the amplitude as shown in this animation. When applied infrared frequency is equal to natural frequency of vibration, then absorption of IR radiation takes place and peak is observed. Different functional groups absorb characteristic frequency of IR radiation and hence give the characteristic peak value. And therefore, the IR spectrum of a chemical substance is a fingerprint of a molecule for its identification. And this is all about the theory of IR spectroscopy. Thank you dear friends and please subscribe the channel Pharma Digest and please like and share the video.